Welcome to Nick and Jeff. I'm Jeff and I am a massive Pikmin fan. So I've been playing the Pikmin Bloom app beta and I've got to level 60 and I just want to share all my tips and tricks with you guys so you can level up easier and have more fun playing the game. On to the tips! So the aim of the game is to grow Pikmin and you grow Pikmin by putting them in your portable backpack and taking steps. So, now you can grow them faster if you go for a walk when you plant flowers using petals. And you get the petals because the Pikmin bring back fruits, and that fruit produces nectar which then you can give to the Pikmin, which turns them into flowers and you can collect the petals and then you can use the petals to go for a walk to plant more Pikmin faster. Right? Something like that. So when you get the nectar, it sort of looks like a Pokeball just from Pokemon Go. And you can feed the Pikmin by throwing it near them. But the way faster way to do it is simply drag the nectar and you can feed nearly all the Pikmin at once. Very, very fast. Then you can collect all their petals and then repeat. You'll run out of nectar in no time and you'll have more petals than you know what to do with. You can actually pluck multiple Pikmin at once. It saves you some time, but I don't think you can skip all the following animations just yet. When you're planting Pikmin seeds, always fill those permanent slots first. Use your secondary slots for Pikmin with higher step counts like purple, whites, and decor Pikmin. This way you'll grow more 1000 step Pikmin quickly, and you aren't wasting those single use slots on the easy ones. Step tanks have the most effect when you've got all your slots filled. So load them up before you put one on, otherwise you're just wasting all those built up steps. It's a really fast way to complete tasks that require you to sprout more Pikmin. So build up those steps and then load the tank only when all those Pikmin sprout slots are full. Don't buy anything you don't really need to. It might be a little bit different since I've only played the beta, but, but the item shop has a ton of crap you don't need. If you get some free coins, you buy the multi-pack single-use slots, only if you feel compelled to, but you should get plenty of stuff for free as you level up. You'll be surprised at how quickly you can sprout Pikmin just by living or walking your normal life, so you don't need to waste money on getting more or doing things faster. Double-click the whistle to collect nearly everything at once that your Pikmin have collected. If your Pikmin squad is looking a little sad and they can't make any more flower petals, triple click to swap out to an entire new squad. If you want to complete an expedition faster, you can send more Pikmin than required. Just press auto and then keep selecting more Pikmin. White and flying Pikmin are actually usually the fastest, while purples are strong and slow, but it takes less of them to carry items back to you. So it might be useful in a pinch when you don't have many Pikmin left, but you can send one purple instead of six normal. If you're taking on some mushrooms, try to send the same colored type of Pikmin as a mushroom. You'll take it down faster, probably. And lastly, have fun with the AR mode. You can walk around and use the whistle to bring your Pikmin squad back to you wherever you are. It's a lot of fun. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If any of these tips helped you out, give us a thumbs up because it really helps out the channel and helps us grow. And why not leave a comment with your own tips to help everyone else out. If you like Nick or me, stick around and subscribe because who knows what kind of video we're going to make next. Bye.